And welcome back to Broader Financial Future. To all my future millionaires and billionaires out there, hopefully you're having an amazing day so far. In today's video, let's talk about Celsius Holding, Inc. And the ticker is C-E-L-H. Is it the new Pepsi, Coke, or Munster Beverage stock? I'm going to break down Celsius' the stock down and what are my thoughts on the company overall. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All you need to do is subscribe uh, to my to more YouTube channels. Why not, right? We want to subscribe to as many YouTube channels as possible, and why not mine as well? And for right now, you can subscribe for the low, low cost of free. That's right. Currently, it's totally free to subscribe to my channel. There is no Patreon or anything like that. And don't forget to smash the like button and let's jump in into today's video so we're going to talk about the company celsius holding inc and that's ticker c-e-l-h now you might ask the question what is celsius holdings well it develops markets distributes and sells functional calorie burning fitness beverages in the united states and internationally it also provides Celsius Heat, a dietary supplement in carbonated flavors. The company was formerly known as Vector Ventures Inc. and changed its name to Celsius Holding Inc. in January of 2007. The company has been around for a minute, so it's not, not no spring chicken. It's been around for a couple of years now. So let's look at some of the highlights uh, when it comes to this particular company. Now, Celsius has a market cap of $4.95 billion, so it's a pretty small company. Uh, they do not offer a dividend currently like Pepsi and Coca-Cola. This is going to be more of a growth stock when you're buying into this company, the potential of this company growing in the future. When I actually heard about this company, the stock was trading below $5. I never even heard of the Celsius drink. So I didn't really pay too much attention to it. Uh, I was getting my girlfriend into investing and she told me about it because I said, invest in what you believe in. And she definitely believed in this company and it worked out well for her. She's definitely killing it when it comes to Celsius. And that's one of the reasons why I believe it's important to invest in what you believe in. Uh, it's always good to do research and listen to other people. But overall, it has to be something you believe in when it comes to your money. There's hundreds of companies in the market, and you might know something other people don't, right? Because, like I said, I never heard of this company, and it wasn't even on my radar. And I actually uh, invested in Pepsi and Coke instead, both good companies, but obviously not with the same growth upside so far as Celsius when it was trading below $5. Now, currently, it's trading around $67, give or take. Uh, it is trading below its 52 week high. Uh, right now, they're trailing 12 months, um, has an EPS of point, basically 11 cents per share. And Yahoo has a price target of $110.21. So that's where we're at with Associates. It's definitely doing pretty good so far, but it is down um, in the last couple of months compared to its all time high. Now, let's compare that with a company like Pepsi. Pepsi has a market cap of $233 billion, that's with a B, compared to Celsius. Celsius has a long way to go, so there's definitely potential for the stock to continue to grow when it comes to the stock price. Uh, because Pepsi, like I said, has a market cap of over $200 billion versus Celsius, which has a market cap of about $5 billion. We can see a potential buyout in the future with this company as well. One of the main things that stick out is the PE. Pepsi PE is definitely more reasonable at 28. Uh, I believe Celsius had a PE of about 602, which is extremely high. Going back to Pepsi though, um, theirs is a lot more reasonable, but obviously Pepsi is basically priced in, it's been in the market for a while. Now, why PE is important? If you don't know, it helps the investor determine the market value of a stock as compared to the company's earnings. Basically, 
what people are willing to pay today for a stock based on its past or future earnings. A high PE could mean that a stock's price is high relative to its earnings and possible overvalued. So when you see a high PE ratio, it could mean it's overvalued, but it also matters on the industry as well. Celsius uh, PE is definitely training kind of like a tech company because Tesla PE is over 300. Celsius is definitely um, high as well. Um, so you're, you're really betting on the potential future when it comes to this particular stock. Uh, when it comes to the price of Pepsi, it's definitely trading near its 52-week high compared to Celsius, which is trading at a deep discount from its 52-week high uh, uh, earlier this year. Now, another company I want to take a look at is Coke, because at the end of the day, they're all in the beverage space. So I want to kind of compare this to some of the, the monsters in this space as, as we have it here, right? So actually, I do own Coke and Pepsi as a disclosure. Uh, Coke is a large company as well with a market cap of over $200 billion. As you can see, when it comes to Pepsi and um, Coke, their market cap is huge. Um, they both offer a dividend compared to Celsius, which is a growing company. So when it comes to Pepsi and Coke, you will get a little bit of a dividend every quarter. And they're both trading closer to their 52-week highs compared to Celsius, right? Because these are established companies. They've been in a market basically, it feels like forever, but a long, long time. And so Celsius is definitely trying to compete uh, with these monsters in the space. But I would say another stock I think compares more favorably when it comes to Celsius is Monsters Beverage. Now, it has a market cap of $47 billion. So we can see the potential Celsius have in the future when it comes to the growth of this particular company. Right now, they're like at a $5 billion market cap. So they have the potential to grow up to a $15 billion market cap. Now, uh, Monster Beverage, their, their PE is 31. So it's definitely um, priced in a lot better than Celsius at the moment. Um, but Celsius is definitely a growing company. You, if you're buying Celsius, is more so for the long term. In long term, you can kind of see the potential here when it comes to Pepsi, Coke, or even Monster Beverage. So it does have the potential to continue to grow. Uh, one thing I want to talk about as well is potential acquisitions. Now, Coca-Cola, um, they bought um, Body Armor to drink for $5.6 billion making it the company's largest brand acquisition to date. So company uh, Coca-Cola do have a habit of buying companies that are growing, and this could be a potential buyout in the future if they do decide to sell. In addition, Coca-Cola also bought vitamin water at the time for $4.2 billion in cash. So you can kind of see, this was like in 2007 when it came to vitamin water. So you kind of see some of the potential uh, buyout potential when it comes to Celsius. That's only if they do decide to buy. They can't continue to go on like Munster and just be their own company as well. Uh, another thing I want to look at when it comes to a company like this is their revenue is consistently growing. So year over year, quarterly, as you can see, um, it is going up and to the right. And that's something you definitely want to see when it comes to the revenue. Their earnings, they're starting to be more uh, become profitable. As you can see, when it comes to the first couple of years, they were down, but now they're starting to jump up and make a profit, even though it's a little bit more sporadic when you look at their profits, um, their earnings versus the revenue. But some key points I do want to point out is Celsius sales are growing, as you can see with the revenue. The company margins and earnings were reduced in Q3 by supply chain problems, which is also facing the world. So this is not only a problem for Celsius, this is a problem basically for a lot of companies out there. So this is something to keep an eye on, um, especially for a growing company like Celsius. Uh, so Celsius continue to expand to new retail locations with convenience stores and coolers seeing the fastest growth. Is U.S. sales jumped 214% year over year and internationally 
sales grew 5%. So you can see the growth potential already when it comes to Celsius, and they still have a long way to go. Celsius saw its total quarterly revenue surge 157% to 94.9 million compared to uh, Q3. So you can see like the growth um, when it comes to this company. I don't really drink energy drinks, but people that I know that heard about it and like this company really enjoy their products. Um, so that's, that's something good as well. So that's the reason why I heard about it. I wasn't too aware of it because I'm not in that space. I'm never, I'm never looking for you know, the Red Bulls or the Monsters. I might drink one every once in a while, but that's not really my thing. Uh, but when you look at the revenue growth for the trailing 12 months versus the prior trailing 12 months, it's up 106% versus the industry average of 12%. So everything is just going up with this company. This is a company definitely I have my eyes on. And there's a couple of things else I want to look at real quick. And as you can see, um, the five-year trend with this company is up over 2,000% um, just within the last five years. Most of that coming really in the last two to three years. So there's huge potential still with this company to go. Also, if you compare Celsius 52-week um, change, it's up 97% versus the S&P 500, which is up 28%. At the end of the day, if you would have bought these companies um, at the same time, um, you will be doing good. So don't kick yourself when you went into the S&P 500. Um, they're both are killing it. Now, as you can see, some other numbers I want to highlight here. It's trading below its 52-week high. So if you bought it at the high at $110, oh, I feel sorry for you. It is definitely trading at a deep discount from that 52 week high. It's definitely above its 52 week low of $35, but it's definitely trading one below its 52 week high. In addition, it's trading below its 50 day moving average and its 200 day moving average. Potentially, uh, buy points is trading almost at a 40% 40 40 discount uh, for them is 52 week high. So that's something to kind of keep a lookout and be aware of. Overall, I see a buying opportunity if you believe in this company or they can kind of hold out to see if it dips a little bit more. It looks like they're doing all the right things. Just have to buy and hold and don't be shaken out of the stock if you believe in it without good cause. But overall, it looks like it just continued to do its thing, which is good there. I like it. This is one I'm going to add to my watch list for 2022. I see that it has huge potential. Um, in the future, uh, even right now, the only thing is like the PE is is higher, is really high. Uh, that's one thing I'm concerned about. But outside of the PE, I do see this as a growth company, and it has a lot of huge potentials to continue to grow in the market space, and to potentially either either be bought out by Pepsi or Coke, or even competing with Monster Energy drinks in the future, even if it goes to 25 billion market cap. It's, it has a lot of huge potential overall when it comes to this company. I think this company is still like a young company with a lot of upside in the future. A lot of people who have tried this, um, they said they really like this uh, energy drink. So, hey, it, it sounds like a good company. I like uh, I like everything that I see here. If it continues to dip, I would definitely be tempted to buy some. But right now, I'm gonna definitely going to keep an eye on it. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. Uh, and also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And like always, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Any investment may involve risk, as you can see here. Um, so make sure you always do your own homework. And until next time, everybody, have a good one. Peace.